Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. There's no other name I know. Oh, there's power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Power in the name of Jesus. There is no other name I know. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. There is no other name I know. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. We certainly do want to bless that wonderful name of Jesus. And certainly there is no other name that we should know. Amen. Because there is power in that name. Anytime you call on that name, you're calling on something that's dynamic. You're calling on something that's able to do exceedingly and abundantly. So as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, uh, we certainly uh, want to remember Sister uh, Harper in prayer. Uh, she called me, left a message. I tried calling her back, but she's uh, getting admitted into the ER and getting ready to have surgery on that sciatic nerve that she has. Amen. And, you know, um, I thought she was telling me on Friday or Saturday or Sunday, one of them days I was talking to her, um, she was saying that uh, they, she mentioned surgery to them and said they couldn't have any surgery. So I don't know what changed. Um, but let us pray uh, that the Lord will touch her body right now in the name of Jesus and God, the doctor's hands and arms and, and, uh, and the, uh, and the health care workers as well. And that uh, the Lord will put a hedge of protection about her and rebuke death and rebuke the devourer. And let us uh, also pray uh, for the success of our service on tonight. Let something be said or done to encourage us, to inspire our hearts. Uh, let us continue to pray one for another. Amen. Are there any particular other uh, prayer requests? Any particular prayer requests? Remember Sister Priscilla in prayer that the Lord will touch her body. Amen. Amen. Send forth healing. Amen. Virgis, Sister Virgis in a special way. You said Sister Viola? Deacon Riley. Deacon Riley, yes, yes. I had a couple calls on him earlier uh, last week. Let the Lord bless him, touch his body. Thank you. I'm going to pray for, um, I know the, the students had their last day today, so pray that the Lord will uh, grant them a safe summer um, and a continued educational summer, you know, because, you know, you drop off with that education and it's hard to get back started in the fall. So let us pray that the Lord will bless them and that they uh, also too summer. For me, when I was in, uh, especially in high school, uh, that meant, okay, get a summer job, you know? <laughs> so to help buy some, uh, some, uh, some school clothes, you can get what you want then when you get you some money. So <laughs> let us pray, you want them Jordans? You want them? I ain't had Jordans back then. We had Converse, Chuck Taylors. <laughs> so let us pray one for another. Uh, that the Lord will bless. And then also, too, that uh, all those that are looking and seeking employment in every endeavor in life, that the Lord will bless. All right, let the church stand. Thank you, Jesus. And let every heart pray. Oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly thank you and praise you for your greatness and your mercy, your love and your kindness that you have shown toward us. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness, Lord. You've been good to us, each and every one of us. And, Lord, we don't take that for granted. And we ask you, Lord, that you look upon Sister Harper, Lord, touch her body, even her husband and her son and the rest of her children. Lord, we ask you to touch their body, touch her body, send forth healing, send forth deliverance, even now, Lord, as she prepares for the surgery. Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you go before her and prepare the way. Touch the hearts and the minds of those that uh, would have to do in this uh, procedure. 
We ask you, Lord, that you're blessed by your power. Rebuke death, rebuke the devour. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And we ask you, Lord, that you remember each and every soul that we made request for. Hallelujah. For your healing virtue and your healing power. Lord, we pray, Lord, for Deacon Riley, Sister Priscilla. Hallelujah, Sister. Thank you, Lord. We pray for them in the name of Jesus. Remember, remember, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Sister Tanya, in a special way. We ask you, Lord, that you send forth your help. We need your help. Hallelujah. Bless our children. Bless the students, Lord. Bless this summer vacation, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And bless our Bible class on tonight. Send forth a word of hope, a little word of encouragement and strength. Father, we thank you. Remember Sister Burgess in a special way. Lord, we thank you and praise you, give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is real. Thank you, Lord. If I were to sing another song, it would be, Yes, the Lord is real. He's real in my soul. Amen. We want you to turn back over with us uh, to the book of Ephesians. We uh, look like we're almost done. Thank you, Jesus. And we certainly do thank God uh, because we're dealing with uh, the weapons of warfare and putting on the whole armor of God. And we've got to remember that these, these weapons uh, that, that God has given us is dynamic and, and they're powerful. And they're, they're able to withstand and stand against the wiles of the devil. When that scripture says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, he's letting us know that, you know, you do have fights with people and individuals, but your main confrontation is coming from the enemy. It's coming from the devil. Amen. He's using people. He possesses people to come up against you. And he can use his systems. Amen. They, they make laws that, that, that come against you and, uh, and oppose you. And so the Lord tells us the way for us to overcome these situations and conditions or the wiles or the plots and the schemes or the tactics of the devil is to put on the whole armor of God. And that armor consists of five pieces. Uh, the uh, gird your loins about with truth, uh, the, the breastplate of righteousness, uh, your feet shod with the gospel, uh, preparation of gospel of peace, above all taking the shield of faith to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, uh, the helmet of salvation, and the, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And all of that, uh, is is intermingled with prayer. You have to, you, if you're going to operate in this armor, you have to have prayer. That armor relates to the word of God. So what he's saying is, if you're going to fight in this battle, you've got to know the word and you've got to be a praying individual. And there's different types of prayer. I don't want to go into all of that. But here he's talking about spiritual warfare prayer, breakthrough prayer. Uh, those that, that are engaged in spiritual warfare are engaged in uh, uh, living holy for the Lord. They're engaged in uh, 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 fighting for the kingdom. They're engaged in uh, literally uh, trying to attain what God has promised in his word. The enemy doesn't care if you own a Cadillac, a, a cattle on a thousand hills, but he don't want you to attain to God's promises. Uh, what God has promised you. He doesn't want you to line up with the will of God. And, and that's what you're fighting for. That's what you're contending for so that you can line up with the word of God, so that you can walk worthy of God's vocation. And the enemy is always trying to put plots out and traps out for you to distract you, amen, to stop you. So, so, so you have to, the Bible says, put on the whole armor of God so that you'll be able to stand and withstand and that stand means that you'll be able to stand and withstand means when you as you advance in God's word and God's purpose that that you're not uh, uh, stagnant you're not you're always achieving you're always moving forward amen hallelujah thank you Jesus so as we tonight uh, our goal tonight is to look at verse 6 and 16 where it says, Ephesians 6 and 16. 
where it says, um, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith we shall quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Uh, that verse there, that's, that's what we're going to focus in on tonight, where it says, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith we shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And as we've already stated, we've already talked about uh, the girding your loins about with truth. We've already talked about righteousness. And we've already talked about the gospel. Now we want to talk about and focus tonight on faith, on, on the shield of faith. And um, when we talk about the shield of faith, you have to have it in your mind. I want you to get this in your mind, in your mindset. That, that God is dealing with his, 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 these, 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 these weapons and, and faith and being a shield is God's dynamic weapon. It's dynamic. It's, and when I say dynamic, it uh, comes from that word quick and powerful. Amen. It's explosive. It's like dynamite. Amen. And, and, and your faith, the shield of faith is explosive. It's like dynamite. It's dramatic. It's, it's, it's able to, to, to absorb. It's able to move. It's able to conquer. It's able to do a multitude, a myriad of things that are necessary for you. Amen? God, God supplies a level of faith for you so that you cannot be denied. Amen? Uh, um, I was talking to an individual, uh, well, it was probably a month or so ago, and he said that, yeah, um, I, uh, what, what scripture were we quoting? Uh, uh, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God through the pulling down of strongholds. And I, and I begin to explain what that, what that scripture meant, uh, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal uh, to the pulling down of strongholds. And, and he said, yeah, I tried that, and I still got overtaken. And I said immediately, no, you didn't. Amen. No, you didn't. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't uh, walk in it the right way. You didn't, you didn't do it the right way. Because if you'd have walked in it the right way and did it the way God have said, you would have never been overtaken. I, I kind of got beside myself. <laughs> hey! Hallelujah. Because this thing is real. This thing is sure. <laughs> Amen. This thing is this thing's been tried in the fight. Amen. God, God, God traded it in the balance. Uh, and, it, and, it, and, it, and if you operate in God's strategies, operate in God's purpose and his word, you shall not be overcome by the devil. It would be impossible. Amen. That would make God a liar. Amen. Oh, I gotta calm myself down. Thank you, Jesus. But that would make God a liar. <laughs> because you know you we, we stand on these promises we fight for these promises and we believe God don't we believe God uh, the reason why you're here tonight the reason why you tuned in tonight is because you believe God amen amen, amen. so so when we're talking then about um, uh, the shield of faith what Paul is saying here is um, uh, the, those those weapons those uh, of, of the five, the five weapons, uh, four of them are defensive. And the shield of faith is a defensive weapon. He only gave one offensive weapon, and that's the, uh, the, the sword of the spirit. That's the only offensive weapon. And remember, it all relates to the word of God. And uh, those first three you should have on at all times uh, 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 truth. You should be wear it as a garment. You should uh, walk in truth at all times. You should walk in righteousness at all times. You should be standing uh, uh, in the gospel at all times. If you're not, then the weapons that God has supplied would be of none effect. Amen? It's, it'll be of none effect. If you're not walking in truth at all times, 
And if you're not standing on the gospel at all times and you're not walking in righteousness at all times, it leaves uh, uh, holes or it leaves yourself exposed to the enemy. Remember, the devil's name is Diablos, which means penetrator. And he's always looking for uh, an avenue to penetrate your life. Amen. So that he can take over. So when you, you've got to always have on the garment of truth. You've always got to walk in the garment of righteousness. And you've always got to stand on the, the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, uh, when he talks about now uh, the shield of faith, uh, he tells us to take the shield of faith. Now, you take the shield of faith. Uh, when you're engaged in a fight, amen? When you're engaged in a fight, you take the shield of faith, you put on the helmet of salvation. Soldiers don't walk around with helmets on all the time, but when they're getting ready to go in the fight, uh, they, they put on their helmet, amen? They don't walk around all the time necessarily with a sword, but when they're getting ready to go to fight, they strap on the sword. So so these next, uh, 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 how can you say it? Uh, uh, parcels of the weapon deals with really engaging in a fight. Amen? When you're wrestling in a fight. Amen? And what are you fighting for? You're fighting for God's promises. You're fighting for your life. You're fighting to be able to be holy and righteous. You're fighting for salvation. You're fighting uh, to be a light. Uh, many multitude of things you're fighting for. But you know, what, 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 what bothers me is uh, one of my pet peeves, and you know, I think the Lord got to help me in my own mind. Uh, I don't think people really uh, uh, realize the, the great and precious promises that God has given us, and, and because they don't realize it, uh, they don't fight as hard. Amen? They, they, they may give up. They may throw in the towel. But, but with God, uh, God wants you to endure to the end. Amen? Amen. Huh? He, he wants you to endure to the end. Thank you, Lord. He, don't, he doesn't want you to give up. Yeah. Amen? When you encounter problems, uh, God wants you to build a bridge. Yes. Amen? If you encounter a, 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 a valley uh, in, your, in your walk with God, he don't just want you to stay on that side. He wants you to build a bridge. Yeah. Amen? Solve your problem. Amen? Keep moving forward. Uh, I love that message uh, Evangelist Arrington preached one year. Can't stop, won't stop. Amen. God doesn't want you to stop. Amen. When you encounter issues, God doesn't want you to give up, throw in the towel, uh, have a pity party, say, woe is me. God, God wants you to, 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 to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Shake that dust off. Uh, pack it under your feet. Keep on moving. Amen. Find another way. Amen. God doesn't want you to give up and throw in the towel. This thing is too precious. And, and when you realize that, that if, if somebody was trying to strangle you uh, and choke you out, you'd be scratching, punching, kicking, doing everything necessary, amen, to stay alive. Uh, that's how you got to look at your fight with the enemy. Uh, by any means necessary. If you got, if you call me a girl if you want to. I'm going to scratch you if I can. Uh, I don't care. Uh, uh, I'll punch you, kick you, stab you. Whatever is necessary, uh, I'm going uh, uh, to try to preserve my life. Amen? Y'all with me? Huh? Thank you, Lord. So, so that's how God wants you to uh, view his promises and go after what he has for you. Uh, with all your might. With all your strength. Uh, by any means necessary, doing whatever it takes. And you know, that's the kind of mindset you got to have. Amen? Uh, I, I've come too far by faith to give up now. Too far out in the deep to let it go now. Uh, every day with Jesus is what? Sweeter uh, than the day before. Hallelujah. Thank you. It's sweeter. It's greater. Uh, and, 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 and you know, uh, when you know of these promises, I gotta move on. But when you when you know what God has promised, Jesus said, "Let not your heart be troubled, uh, neither let it uh, be afraid." He said, "In my Father's house are what many mansions. If it were not so, I wouldn't have told you." Now, 
Here it is. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. Amen. I want to see that prepared place for me. Amen. You should want to see that prepared place for you. Uh, and I guarantee you uh, that it's, it's better than any place that you can imagine. I guarantee you it's decked out uh, with everything that you need uh, and everything that you love. Uh, and I want to see it. Uh, I want to see it. My God, I want to see it. Uh, thank you, Lord. I want to see it. I don't, I don't know what it looked like. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what's in it. Uh, but, but my curiosity is piqued because Jesus prepared. <laughs> hey, glory. Hallelujah. Uh, and, and then the kicker is, he said, uh, where I am, there you going to be also. So he going to be there. Uh, I want to be where he is. <laughs> Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. All right, now, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Let me come back to earth for a minute. Thank you, Jesus. So we see here then, Ephesians 6 and 16. Now, uh, these weapons, it, they are uh, defensive weapons uh, given to us uh, to overcome the enemy's tactics. Amen? The enemy tactics. Now, Jesus said, not Jesus, I'm sorry, Paul wrote, uh, he, was, he was thinking of uh, a Roman soldier. That's where he gets these, these, these weapons from. And uh, a, a, a Roman soldier that is dressed for a fight, you know, they also have a, a shield, a shield of faith. Now, when he says, above all, taking the shield of faith, most people think that that means that uh, faith is the most important weapon that you can have. But that's not what Paul is saying, because if you really study this, study it out, is, is faith more important than truth? Is faith more important than truth? No. Faith isn't more important than truth. They all work together, hand in hand. Amen? You need uh, uh, if you look at truth as being the word, the Bible says, faith cometh by hearing, uh, and that by the word of God, truth. So you need truth to, to bring about faith. So what Paul is saying, when he's saying above all, he's literally saying that, that, that your faith being a shield. And uh, they had, in that time, oblong shields that, that covered their body entirely. Amen? It covered them, their body entirely. So what Paul is saying is, uh, uh, above all, uh, taking the shield of faith, he's really saying, take faith and put it out before you uh, so that it can cover you uh, uh, totally. He's saying that take faith as a shield Huh? and put it and lift it up before you as you go out and engage back. Amen? The Bible tells us to walk by faith and not by sight. But, so we ought to put faith before us huh? as we're engaging in warfare. Amen? Because your God is a God of faith. He moves by faith. And when my God feel the Holy Ghost, when God sees your faith, uh, he reacts. When you put faith before you, God reacts. Oh, uh, give me an honest say. <laughs> God reacts. You follow? So you've got to take faith and, and every battle that you engage in, let it go before you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen? Amen? So that's what he means when he says, above all, in addition to, above all, uh, taking that covering. Uh, that shield of faith and put it before you as you battle and fight in this warfare. Uh, thank you, Lord. So, when we look at the word shield, shield is a defensive weapon. Your faith is in a defensive weapon that, that protects you. Amen? Your faith literally protects you. Amen? It protects you 
from all the fiery darts of the wicked one. It protects you against all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Now, God himself, he, he has written in the word that, that he is like a shield. Amen? God, God identifies himself as a shield. Yes. Let's, let's go over here to the book of uh, 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 Genesis. And you know, I love it. Genesis, Genesis chapter 15. See, I'll be slow because I don't want y'all to be there before me. <laughs> yeah, that's my competitive spirit. <laughs> Lord help me. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Genesis chapter 15, and I, and I particularly love this particular uh, passage of scripture. We're going to read verse 1. But what I like about it is that this is uh, talking about Abraham. And uh, Abraham, just in chapter 14, he just rescued Lot. And uh, the king of Salem came to him and, and was trying to bless Abraham. And Abraham said, no, I, I'm not going to let, let you bless me. Y'all can read it. He said, I'm not going to let you bless me. At least you say you made me rich. All right? And, and what I love about it is this uh, uh, verse, uh, chapter 15 and verse 1. Look at God's response. And he says, after these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in a vision. So that makes Abraham a prophet because he was receiving visions. Uh, saying, fear not, Abram. I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. So uh, my, 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 what I love about this particular verse is, is, is like a sidebar. Is that Abraham turned down the weapon for the wicked and, and chose his God. And notice how God responded to him. He said, I am thy reward. I'm going to bless you. Amen. Ain't that beautiful? Uh, so, 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 you know, I ain't saying that Abraham was, 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 was saying, man, uh, walking, as he was walking back to his camel, saying, what did I do? Uh, I gave up all this money. Uh, I gave up all this wealth. I ain't saying he did all that. But notice God's response. Uh, if you choose God, God will bless you. Uh, if you uh, uh, reject the wealth of the wicked, God will bless you. Uh, God wants to bless you. Yeah. Uh, God don't want you to be uh, 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 seeking other means for yeah. your blessing. Uh, God wants to be your reward. Yeah. Amen. Uh, and notice what he said. I'll be your exceeding great reward. And y'all know the life of Abraham. Uh, Abraham was rich. He had servants. He had, he had, he had, he had abundance of things, didn't he? Uh, God truly blessed him. And not only did he bless them naturally, but he blessed them spiritually. Amen? How many of you want God to bless you spiritually? Hallelujah, Lord. I thank you for the natural, uh, but all of that going to perish. Uh, Lord, but I want that spiritual blessing. I want that spiritual glory. I want that spiritual anointing. Uh, heaven and earth shall pass away, but not one jot or one tittle of God's word shall pass. That's what we're contending for. Yes. Hallelujah. I want that. Yes. Uh, how many of you want that? Yes. Uh, I want that eternal life. Yes. I want to walk on streets of gold. I want that spiritual inheritance. Uh, hallelujah. I want to be able to sing with the saints of God and the angels of God. I want to see Michael. Uh, uh, come on in, somebody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My God. So, so God, 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 God blessed Abraham. Now notice, uh, back to our lesson. God says, notice what he says. After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision. Like I said, that makes him a prophet because God speaks to us in visions and in dreams. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And, and 
The word of the Lord said, fear not. That means that Abraham probably has some anxiety. Amen? Had some fear. Nothing wrong. We're human. We're going to have some fear sometimes. Amen? Thank you, Lord. He said, fear not. Notice what God said. I am thy shield. God identifies himself as a shield. The, 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 how can I say it? Help me here, Holy Ghost. The, 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 the Bible says that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen? Amen. Uh, the, the Word is a shield. And God is his logos, his word. Amen? Amen. And, and this is all going to make sense in a minute. Thank you, Lord. That in order to walk by faith, you need God's word. Yes, Lord. Right. Amen? Hallelujah. You need the word of God. Yes, sir. How do you know you need the word of God? Yes. Uh, because faith cometh by what? Here. And that by what? The word, the more word you have, the more faith you have. Amen. Let me say that again. The more word you have, the more faith you have. Amen? Amen. Goes hand in hand. Thank you, Lord. Little, little, if, if you got little word, you got little faith. Huh? You got big word, you got big faith. You got mediocre word, you got mediocre faith. Yes, sir. Amen? So your faith is dependent upon the word. How much that you know. Amen. Faith does not come by any other way. You may say, well, Pastor, uh, uh, I can hear a testimony and that can give me faith. Uh, but not, that ain't kind of faith that God talking about. Uh, because that'll change your mind. Uh, because situations will come and you'll, you'll flip flop. Uh, I say, you'll flip flop. Uh, you'll change your mind. You'll say, well, that, that worked for her, but I don't know if it's going to work for me. Uh, that worked for him, I don't know if it's going to work for me. But if you get a word from the Lord, and the Lord visited you, uh, and, 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 and manifest his word to you, uh, then you got something to stand on. You can say, Lord, you say, uh, you can say, Lord, you promise. Uh, uh, and, that, and that'll give you more of a fight. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, because you're trusting in the word of God. You're leaning on the word of God. Uh, you're believing in the word of God. You say, Lord, order my steps. Uh, according to your what? Your word. And God is his word. Uh, his word. God is his word. And that's why God represents himself as a shield of faith. Because he is his word. He's your protection. Amen. God is a protector. God protects. Amen. God ain't, God ain't, God ain't limited like we are limited. God protects. Amen. And now, when you're in a battle, when you're, in, when you're fighting, you need some protection. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Uh, you know, what, what, in, in modern day, what Paul was saying by taking the shield of faith, it would be like you get into an, an, uh, 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 an armored truck, or you get into, what's that one truck with the long and they got the little uh, 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 barrel on top of it and it just rolls through stuff? An armored tank. Did I say that already? Yeah, yeah that's what it is. An armored tank. Paul would, he would put it on that wise, wherein as, as you're fighting your enemy, you're inside that armored tank, you're protected. Yes. Huh? No bullets can't touch you. Yes. Those weapons can't touch you. Yes. Huh? You follow me? You're protected and you're able to advance. Yes. That's, that's what the shield of faith is. When you're facing your enemy or facing a situation, yes. Or trying to overcome, you put on faith and then you advance knowing that you're protected. That God got your back, your front, your head, your bottom, huh, and everything you need is being supplied. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, give God a praise. God is a protector. Hey, God is a 
God is a protector. He's a protector. You got to know that going into the battle, that he's a protector. Uh, you got to know that. Amen? Now, notice what he said. He said to Abraham, I am thy shield and I am thy exceeding great reward. All right? Now, go over to Deuteronomy. Lord help us. Deuteronomy chapter uh, uh, 33. Verse 29. We have to say amen. All right, y'all quick. I like that. All right, Deuteronomy, uh, verse 33. I mean, chapter 33 and verse 39. The word of the Lord says, happy art thou. And, and this is what we should be. We should be happy. Amen. That word happy uh, equates to blessing. Amen. Blessing. Uh, he said, happy art thou, O Israel. Happy art thou, O saints of God that believe in Jesus. <laughs> Notice who is like unto thee? Meaning that, that you, are, uh, you are a treasure unto God. Yeah. Amen. You, you, are, you are priceless unto God. Lord, and God loved you. Huh? Uh, 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 to where he gave his only begotten son. Huh? He, 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 he protects you. He provides for you. He cares for you. Yes, Amen. He, he literally chose you out of the world. Uh, hallelujah, hand picture, so to speak. Out of the world, I uh, cleaned you up. You were filthy. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. God cleaned you up and, and put you in the body of Christ and gave you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. Hallelujah. You, you, sh you, should, you should put out your whole chest on that. Hallelujah. Knowing that, that God loves you and cares about you. Uh, every day. Uh, you should be thinking of that, especially when the enemy is trying to tell you you're no good, you're worthless. Yeah. Hey, how, that, that God don't care about yes, you. Sir. Yes, you sir. should take him to the book. Yeah. Uh, say, God cares about yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, God called me a peculiar treasure, yeah. uh, a royal priesthood. Yeah. He told me I'm a part of a holy nation. Yeah. God brought me out of darkness uh, into his marvelous light. God gave me his holy ghost. Hey, God, I will shout. Gave me a word to help me. He put me with some people that are but God believers, walkers by faith. Now, come on, give God a praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Now, notice what he said. He said, who is like unto thee? You got to consider yourself and not with pride, but say, who is like unto the children of God? Now, who is like unto me? Amen? Notice what he said. Oh, people, now notice, saved by the Lord. You've been saved by Jesus Christ. Amen? Hallelujah. You've been saved by Jesus Christ. Therefore, there is no condemnation to them that are what? In Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Saved by Christ. Amen? The Lamb of God. Uh, if you were read. Uh, John's epistle, the, the book of Revelations, the whole heavens was searched, amen, and he couldn't find nobody worthy, and he began to cry and to weep, amen, and he told him, don't weep, John, oh, hallelujah, because there's a lamb, hallelujah, and that lamb is Jesus, who was slain before the foundation of the world, uh, to bring about salvation to you and I, deliverance, notice what he said. Notice what he said. You saved by the Lord. No, notice. God calls himself the shield of thy hope, thy help. The shield of thy help. God, I want you to get that in your spirit. Amen? Because we're talking about the shield of faith. God is your help. When, you, when, when the children of Israel, when they went out to battle, they, 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 they lifted up. Huh? The, the Lord. They lifted up a bat. Amen. They, they walked and they praised their God. Amen. That, that was them 
sending faith before them. When you go out to battle, you've got to realize that, that as long as I lift Jesus up, as long as I lift the Father up, I, in faith, I'm protected. Amen? I'm protected. Uh, because cause, cause God is a shield. Yes, Lord. Amen? He's a protector. Yes, Lord. He'll put a hedge of protection about you. Yes. Amen? Yes. Uh, the enemy can't do you no harm. That's why the scripture says, No weapon yes. formed against you shall prosper. Yes. Uh, no matter what they try to throw at you, uh, God is your protector. As long as you are walking by faith, uh, and not by sight. You put it up, God, before you, you're protected from head to toe. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And if God be for you, who then can be what? Amen. Now notice what he said. He said, uh, 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 the Lord is uh, the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellence? See, now he's saying that uh, he's putting these two metaphors together. God, God is a God of faith, amen, and he's also uh, 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 the captain of the army of hosts, which is his word, amen, his soul. So, so in other words, what he's saying is, is that as long as you put God before you in that word and use that word to cut down the enemy, it's a, it's a spirit of excellence. Uh, you cannot lose. Amen. You cannot be defeated. Amen. It would be impossible for you to be defeated by walking by faith with God. Amen. Standing on his word. Amen. Go with me. It's impossible to lose. Why? Because they're dynamic. Uh, they're powerful. Uh, and energized by God. That's why he said, he said, be strong in the Lord. Uh, be equipped by the Lord and walk in the explosiveness of his might. Of his might. Yeah. Amen. Hey, when you come, when, uh, my God, help me, Holy Ghost. When Jesus was on this earth, he didn't, he didn't take down to the enemy. Mm -hmm. Everywhere he went, things was changed. Yeah. The devil said uh, uh, to, to Jesus, he said, he said, are you coming to torment us before it's time? Uh, we know who you are uh, uh, because he was the word. Amen. Made manifest. You follow me? Yes, we, he, he walked in the word. We've got to walk in this word. Amen. Hallelujah. And, 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 and Jesus operated all the time according to the word. We've got to operate all the time according to the word. That's where we get in trouble. When we don't operate according to the word. That's when we get in trouble when, when we don't operate according to faith. When we start operating according to fear, we get in trouble. When we start operating in the, in, in the, according to our pride, we get in trouble. Huh? When we start operating against the word of God, God resists the proud. Huh? But giving grace to the humble, we get in trouble. But when you operate in the word, you walk in power. You walk in the anointing. Uh, that anointing will destroy every yoke. Uh, that power, hallelujah, will, will cause you to triumph every time. Uh, Y'all with me? Thank you, Lord. You, you may, you may, you may uh, 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 suffer some things, uh, but you won't be defeated. Uh, Paul said, cast down, but not destroy. Oh, hallelujah. And you can say, according to the word of faith, I've been set back for a comeback. Yes. Uh, because God, he, he can't lie. Yes. Amen. He can't lie. Yes. The reason why, uh, I'm going to give you some word of knowledge. Yes. The reason why Daniel was able to go into the lion's den and come out is because he was standing by faith. Yes. Uh, he believed that if he go into that lion's den, uh, that God would bring him out. And he wasn't worried about what the king said. Uh, in fact, the Bible says when they told him to put out that decree, don't pray in any other God but, but the God of, of uh, I believe that was called the, the, the Persians. Uh, uh, Daniel went to the window, lifted it up. Uh, lifted up the window uh, and began 
to pray. Why? Because he was trusting in his God. Yes, Lord. Uh, when you got a relationship and when you're walking by faith, it causes you to be bold. Yes, uh, it, come on here, somebody. Yes. It'll, cause you to, it'll cause you to believe God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen? Regardless of what other people may say. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, uh, one of my co-workers tried to put some fear in me today. So, oh, well, Frank, are you coming to your last days? Are you a little scared? Uh, I said, well, I, 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 I was going through that last week. I'm trying to be friendly. I was going through, but now I'm, I'm good. <laughs> you know, you got to talk this thing and walk this thing. Amen? Hallelujah. And I know she operates in fear. Because uh, she's an anxious person. Always anxious about everything. Hallelujah. But, but you know, I'm trying to infuse a little faith in her. Uh, put a little hope in her. Uh, hey, well, let somebody know I believe God. Uh, hey, that's why you got to do that. I believe God. Uh, come on here, somebody. Hey, come on here. Believe God. Do you believe God? You believe God can? You believe God will? Let me try it. <laughs> God is in. Now notice this. Lord, let me move on. I only got a half hour left. Jesus, hope I make it. <laughs> All right. Now notice what he said. He said, who is the, the sword of excellency and thy enemies shall be found what? Liars unto thee and thou shalt tread upon their high places. When God is your protection, yes, sir. Huh, and you're operating by faith in his word, God will cause you to triumph uh, over high places. The, that word high places, we can equate to principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world. That's what high places equate to. When you walk by faith and you believe God's word, doesn't matter what the enemy may throw at you. Uh, as long as you're confident in your God, uh, you'll tread upon any high place, uh, any principality. You'll tread upon any serpent. Uh, uh, do y'all believe that today? Thank you, Lord. And, and you, you, you've got to hold to that. Hold God to that. Amen? God will see you through. Now, let's go, let's go. Let's go back over to the book of Ephesians. Hallelujah. We're going to get some air in here, y'all. By faith. There it goes. Ephesians 16. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Amen. All right. Ephesians 16. Notice what he says now. He said, above all, and we know what above all now means. It means taking that shield and lifting it up above everything else as your protection. Put faith before you as protection. Everywhere you go, you're walking in faith. It's before you. Notice what he says. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Yes, sir. Let me focus now on that word taking just for a minute. Uh -huh. That word, that word taking, earlier I told you that there's some garments that you should have on at all times. That was uh, truth, righteousness, and the gospel. Yes. This type of faith is faith that you've got because you're in a war. You're in a battle. You got to take it. You got to yes. pick it up. Yes, sir. You got to pick it up. So, so you've got a choice. Mm -hmm. Some people go out to battle naked mm. without this faith, mm. without trusting in the promises of God. Mm. And they'll get whipped every time. Mm -hmm. Just ask the seven sons of Seba. Mm -hmm. They said, uh, we adjure you in the name of Jesus Christ that Paul preached. See, they didn't know him for himself. 
And them devils said, we know Paul, we know Jesus, but who are you? Uh, because they didn't have faith to contend. The devils jumped on them and whooped them. Because they, they, didn't, they didn't take the shield of faith, the word of God. Follow? When you don't, when you don't take it with you into battle, you lose. But if you take it with you into every battle, you'll win. This type of faith. This type of faith, what I'm talking about, is the word of God. All of God's promises. All of God's word yes, Lord. that connects to spiritual warfare and overcoming. You got to know that you're not just a conqueror, but you're more than a conqueror. Yes, Lord. Huh? You got to know that everything is working together for your good. You follow me? Yes, sir. And like I said, the more word you know, the more faith you have. Mm -hmm. The more of this word you have, the more faith you have, and the better you'll be a contender to overcome the enemy. Yes, Lord. So you gotta take it. You gotta take it. You gotta take it with you into every battle. As soon as the enemy rears his ugly head, coming at your finances, take it, take, take the word. Huh? Fight with the word. Coming at your children, fight with the word. Coming at your spiritual life. Fight with the word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Coming at whatever he's coming at. Because huh? nothing's off limits with him. Yes. Coming at your health. You got to take the word. Fight with the word. Huh? You got to take that. Huh? Whatever condition, whatever situation you're going through. Discouragement. Take the word. Huh? And, 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 and if he's fighting you with discouragement, you've got to study God's word about how to be happy. Uh, how to be undiscouraged and take that word and fight it. Uh, he's coming with you at your help. You got to study the scriptures about your help and take that word and fight. Uh, you got to do that. Uh, now, now, you just ask me a question. Pastor, what should I study? Uh, I tell you, what, you what, what are you dealing with? What are you fighting with? What's the enemy attacking you with? Lust. Uh, then you got to take that word, study that word of uh, what it means about overcoming lust and take that and fight. Yes, Amen? Whatever it is, gambling, uh, whatever it is, smoking, drugs, yes. uh, whatever it is, lying. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some folk got lying tongues. Uh, uh, they don't lie unintentionally. <laughs> yes, Hallelujah. Yes, well, that's the way the enemy, enemy operate in you. And if you're fighting against fear, you got to take that word. Yes. Uh, arm yourself with scriptures that over deal with overcoming fear yes. and use that word to overcome. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all with me? Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, sir. You scared to testify about Jesus? Yes. Tell others about uh, Christ. Uh, that's a problem. Huh? I'm telling you, that's a problem. Because he wants you to testify of him. Yes. Paul, that's why Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because he realizes the power of God unto salvation. Huh? So, so you can't be ashamed. He said, if you be ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? He got to let your light shine. You got to be the soul. Huh? Huh? Y'all with me? You got to be engaged in ministry. I, I ain't talking about being behind this pulpit. I'm talking about whatever assignment God has put on your life. And if fear is stopping you from accomplishing that, you got to get into that world and pull that stronghold down and walk by faith. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Be like Esther. If I perish, I perish. Huh? Y'all ain't got quiet on me. That's all right. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. It's true. It's true. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's true. Now notice what he said. He said, above all, take it. We dealt with that word, take it. Got to take it. Got to take the shield of faith. Yes, 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You gotta take this word with you uh, and use it. If you don't take it with you, you leave yourself exposed. Notice he said, taking the shield of faith to do what? And ye shall do what? Be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Okay? So, first of all, I want to say that Christ is your full protection. Put on Christ. Amen? Put on Jesus. He's your full protection. And, and faith uh, is, is, when the Bible talks about faith, it deals with, uh, in this context, in spiritual warfare, it deals with utter dependence upon God yes, for his protection. Yes, you don't trust in nothing else. God is a jealous God. Yes, Lord. Huh? God is a jealous God. Yes. He said, there's no other God beside me. Yes. I'm God all by myself. Yes. Huh? Huh? So, so when we're talking about warfare going into battle, because God don't want to share his glory with nobody. Yes. Yes. Huh? That's why Abraham said what he said. Lord. At least you said you made me rich and not my God. The whole one whom I serve, the one who called me, glory, the one who called me, the one who appointed me, uh, the one who gave me promises, yes. the one who's good to me. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey, glory. Isn't he good to you? Yes. Hey, hallelujah. Somebody said he's sweeter than honey uh, in the honeycomb. Hallelujah. And, 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 and when we talk about faith in God and doing battle, he's talking about. You going into warfare or battle utterly dependent upon him. If we were to read uh, King Jehoshaphat and he came against three armies huh? and, and in it when those armies were coming up against him, he, the Bible said he feared and then he called a fast and he put everybody on a fast. The animals, uh, the, the women, and the women and men and the children. Uh, until he got a word from the prophet. Uh, but before he went on that fast, he said, God, we're not going to make a move until you answer. Uh, now, now that's the kind of faith God wants. God, I ain't going nowhere until you show up. Uh, so if I die in this state, uh, it's on you. Uh, uh, you follow what I'm saying? That's the kind of faith uh, that Jehoshaphat said. And, and when God saw his faith, you gotta, God got to see your faith. Your faith can be seen. And, and when God saw his faith, he sent him a word and told him the battle doesn't belong to you, but the battle belongs to the Lord. Hallelujah. God took on that warfare. Hallelujah. And, and, and when you have that kind of attitude, the Lord, I'm depending on you. Then you won't be double-minded. Huh? You won't be unstable because the enemy, if you got that attitude, you be in your test, huh? the enemy trying to bring you something, you'll resist them steadfast. Yeah. But, but if you're wishy-washy and the enemy bring you something, you start counting up the odds and say, well, I've been waiting a long time and Lord, you ain't showed up yet, so I'm going to take, take what the devil off. Mm -hmm. huh? And as soon as you do that, you lose. Yes. Huh? God wants you to endure to the end. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not until you tempted. Not until you tried. Yes. Huh? The Bible says the trying of your faith yes, is much more precious than gold that perishes. But a lot of people, when they get into the battle, they give up. Yes, sir. They throw in the towel. Especially when they get heated. That's when God shows up. He, don't you know God will allow you to go in the rock and the hard place so that he can show that he's God yeah. huh? and God all by himself huh? he want all your enemies to know yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that's why he hardened Pharaoh's heart yeah. huh? so he wanted everybody to know yeah. that he's the God not Pharaoh yeah. yes, huh? when, 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 when it looks like 
the, 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 the darkest of your hour, realize that it gets the darkest is before the dawn. Yes. Huh? Huh? Weeping may endure for a night. Yes. Huh? But your joy is going to come. God cannot deny himself. God cannot deny his word. God cannot deny those that put their trust in him. Yes. Hey, it's impossible. Yes. It would make him a liar. Yes. Huh? God is not a liar. Hey, kind of old shot. It would make it would make it look like the enemy has more power over God. Y'all with me? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, so, Lord. so when we're dealing with this scripture here, when we're realizing here that I'm putting all my dependency upon God, you got to put your whole dependency upon God. And let me, let me, I'm trying to make that clear. I'm going to know another word to use. Whole, W-H-O-L-L-Y, whole, whole, holy, everything. No other choice. In other words, Lord, if you don't do it, it can't be done. And, and, and I'm going to die. Because I'm going to wait on you. Be faithful unto death. Yes, Lord. Y'all with me? Yes. I'm trying to make that as plain as possible. You're waiting on God. And your total dependence is upon God. If God don't open that door, then I ain't walking through. If God don't make that move, then I'm stuck. Now, God will show up. Uh -huh. Amen? God will show up. Boom. And let me say this. That the Bible says that Abraham didn't stagger at the promises of God. God, that, what that scripture is saying is, Abraham had some missteps along the way. But God kept dealing with Abraham until his faith was perfected. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. When was Abraham's faith perfected? When God told him to offer up your son Isaac. Yes. And Abraham didn't ask no question. Yes. Uh, Rob took a a a Isaac up there to that mountain. Uh, said that, said that, uh, and Isaac said, well, where's the sacrifice, Dad? Uh, and and, a and I, Abraham said, uh, God will supply. <laughs> hey, you see, that's the kind of that's the kind of dependency you have to have that God will supply. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. He bound the boy up, the lad, yes, put him on that altar, took the knife to slay him, and God provided. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. That's when he didn't stack at the promises of God, but God brought him to that. Place. Don't be ever learning and never coming to the knowledge of the truth. Trust your God. Mm. Believe your God. Yes, Lord. These things were written for our learning and our admonition. Yes, Amen? Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, let me move on. Um, Got to have total dependence upon God and upon his power. Hallelujah. That's key. Yes, Lord. You've got to know that God has the ability and the authority to do what he said he's going to do. And that he'll do it for you. Yes. Amen? Amen. And no question. That's what Paul meant when he said, I'm persuaded. Got to be persuaded. Amen? And, and to the point where you won't change. No matter how dark it looks. No matter how long you got to wait. You'll stay right there. Believe in your God. Because his word said. Yes, Lord. That's how God wants you. And that you're willing to go through 
any and everything to attain to. Y'all with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, notice what he says. He says, above all, taking the shield of faith. And, that's, and we know that above all means having faith before you as a protection. You're lifting it up. Like Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men. You lift your faith up. Amen? It goes before you. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Now notice, where if you are able to quench now all the fiery darts of the wicked. What Paul is alluding to here is those Roman soldiers. They uh, would literally douse or, or, or soak their shields in water. Because y'all watch them uh, medieval movies sometimes, and you see them down there just throwing those uh, 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 yeah, darts or, or spears, arrows, and they, and they set them on fire. So what the Roman soldiers did, they don't show that in the movie. I wish they would have been good to see. But they would soak their, their shield in water. So then when that fire came, their shield didn't burn up. It protected them. Amen. With it? Amen. It protected them. It didn't burn up. Now, what Paul is alluding to here is this. He's saying that you take your faith and soak it in the word of God. Soak your faith in God's word. So when the fiery thoughts that the enemy throws at you, it won't destroy you because it's soaked in the word. It'll put out the, the, the combustible flame that the enemy is throwing at you. Now, what Paul is saying is, he's already said it, faith come by hearing and that by the word of God. In order for you to overcome the attacks of the enemy, you've got to uh, have your faith soaked in the word of God. Yes, sir. Build yourself up on your most holy faith. Huh? And that, and that, and that, and that, what builds your faith up is the word. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. People that are not soaked in the word will be overcome by the enemy. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The enemy can say anything to you. The enemy can do anything to you or through you. Yes, Lord. Because you're not soaked in the word. Your faith isn't soaked in the word. If you're going to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, you've got to study the word. You've got to be like a sponge in the word. That whenever you're squeezed, only the word comes out. You quote the word. You stand on the word. You talk about the word. When doubt and fear comes, you talk about the word. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Huh? When, when, when you get a letter in the mail, you talk about the word. Yes, Lord. When you get an evil report, you talk about the word. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. When people talk about you, you talk about the word. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Huh? And your whole response is the word of God. Yes, How? By faith. When God gives you a command, you take the word and be obedient to what God has commanded by faith. Why? Because you're soaked in the word. Yes, Lord. Now, now the Lord gave me this. He said, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Well, he didn't say it to me. The thought came to my mind. Well, maybe he did say it to me. He said, how do you get soaked in the word? Huh? He said, well, in the morning, you dip yourself. Uh -huh. 
You pull out your word and you dip yourself in that word. Huh? You read you some scriptures about faith. Huh? Uh, because our whole walk is about faith. Uh, when you get up in the morning until you go to bed at night, uh, the enemy is attacking your faith. Uh, so you got to dip yourself uh, in that word. Uh, and then when, 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 and, uh, you know, a lot of times we are uh, reactive instead of proactive. Uh, and God ain't mad at you. Uh, but, but when you get some news, when you get a condition, when you hear about something, uh, you dip yourself in the word. Uh, because that's a fiery dot uh, that the enemy is trying to take you out. Uh, and then when you are, uh, uh, these are for those that are, are contending for the faith. When you are, when you are marching up uh, the road to Zion and you, and you believe God for something and, and then uh, uh, roadblocks come, you don't allow that to stop you. You dip yourself in the word. Uh, be a problem solver. God's word is a problem solver. Huh? You dip yourself in the word and you lift up that word huh? so that you can quench that fiery dart that is trying to destroy you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. God said you the head not to tell, but, but you, you live it in a proper way. Huh? Trust God. Dip yourself in the word. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah, huh? mm. How many understand what I'm talking about? You got to take that shield of faith to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And, and these darts that, that the enemy is trying to overtake you with, don't, don't, he's trying to kill you. He's trying to destroy you. And, and his darts are combustible. I don't know if anybody here has ever been uh, caught on fire before or burnt. Uh, you probably burnt your hand. And woo -woo -woo. Uh, probably, probably went all out. Thank you, Lord. Follow me. Uh, on a stove or something. But actually getting your body burnt. Uh, thank you, Lord. That's a whole other game, man. Uh, and that's what the enemy trying to do. He's trying to burn you up. Uh, and, 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 and what he does is uh, uh, you trying to achieve something for God, he throws these darts in the way to, to discourage you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. To overtake you. Amen. To formulate doubt and fear in your mind. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And the only way to overcome it is you got to soak yourself in the word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To quench. That word quench means uh, 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 when you see uh, darts go into uh, a fire, uh, go into some water, yeah. uh, it's immediately out. Yeah. Amen? Amen? That's the metaphor God wants you to see. That soon as the enemy throws a dart your way, yeah. it gets quenched. It gets immediately out. Uh, to do you no damage. Uh, to do you no harm. Yes, Lord. Huh? You got to hide that word in your heart. Mm. Yes. You got to have that word. A lot of people fall by the wayside because they ain't got that word. People that overcome, they got the word. Let's, let's, let's read that verse again. What's it say? Now, if you take faith, you'll be able to quench all of his darts, oh. all of his fiery darts. It's sure. Amen? Yes, sir. You have to soak your faith in the word. Hallelujah. If you're going to overcome the enemy, you're going to pull down some strongholds. You got to know that word. Yes, sir. You got to have that word. 
and walk in that word. Faith is an action thing, isn't it? Yes. Got to walk in it. Live by it. Yes. Am I right? Amen. And, 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 and when the enemy comes up against you, because you're walking in truth, you're walking in righteousness, yes, sir. you're standing on the gospel, yes, sir. And, and, and you got the shield of faith. You can quench all of his fiery darkness. Amen? Amen? Now, one more thing and I'm going to let you go. Go over to the uh, book of Samuel, 2 Samuel. 2 Samuel, chapter 22. This is David praising his God. 2 Samuel chapter 22, and let's read verse 3 together. What does it say? The God of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower, my refuge, my savior, now, this is David praising his God for all that he has done for him. He looked at his God as his everything. You've got to look at your God as your everything. And you just can't say it. It has to be proven. Amen? And you prove it through every test and every trial that you endure. Notice what he said. He said, I will call on the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from what? Mighty David believed that. That's why he didn't kill Saul. Huh? He trusted God. If you trust God, you'll have that kind of faith that I'll call on him and he'll save me from all my enemies. If God be for you, who can be against you? What is it that's for that can stop you? Huh? Who is there that can outslick you? Huh? With God on your side. Follow me? Notice what he said. Drop down then to verse 36. There's a nice scripture in here. He talked about also too. Uh, God calls me to walk through the troops and leap over walls. Y'all heard people preach that, didn't y'all? With a hack on it. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Notice, verse then, verse 36. What does it say? Uh huh. Now notice, he said, Thou hast given me the shield of thy salvation. God gives that to us, and that's faith. Huh? And, and that faith can cause you to be great. How many of you want to be great? Amen. We should all want to be great. Great in the Lord. Am I right? Now notice. Read that verse again. Amen. Thy gentleness has made me what? Great. Greatness is in God. You are in God. Ergo, you are great. God expects you to do great things. 
Amen? Daniel put it on this wise. God expects you to do great exploits. And that just simply means refusing the evil and choosing the good. And that simply means choosing God at all times. Yes, Lord. And resisting the devil. Hallelujah. To God, that's great. Y'all with me? All right. I didn't think I didn't. We were y'all enough. Thank you, Jesus. We certainly do thank God for this word. Read that Psalm, read that 2 Samuel uh, 22 on your own. That'll help build your faith. What, what, let me say this. What you don't want to lack over here is faith. Amen? Amen. Now, let me say this again. You got to know your why. Why are you here? Yes, sir. Why are you here? And when you understand your why, you go for it. Amen? God wants you to go for it. All right? We certainly do thank God for our Bible study on tonight. <laughs> I thank God for this word on tonight. Thank you, Jesus. And we want to uh, look at men and women and children everywhere. Those that are signed on, you have an opportunity to give through tithely. And uh, we want you to give as unto the Lord. We want you to tune in again with us on uh, Sunday, Sunday morning, uh, 11 o'clock. We want to pray in Jesus' name. Amen. No. Yeah, hit the bottom. No. Share. Grady. Yeah, I can.